Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw elevations in AutoCAD. So the first thing you need when you're starting an elevation is it's usually best to start from a floor plan because you want to design the floor plan, get the space design, figure out you know just how long the building is going to be, where the doors go, where the windows are, and what else you might have. So I'm going to work off of this basic floor plan of a cabin. You can see it's got a deck here and a little chimney outcropping here with some windows too around here. So it's pretty basic, but once again, the same techniques are going to apply to any floor plan. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit. And I want to turn off some of the layers I'm not going to be using. So, um pretty much dimensions I think is about it and I don't need electrical either so I'll turn that off so now I'm just going to copy everything over here just so that I don't make any errors and mess up my original I've got lots of space and this is the elevation I'm going to draw and just to show you where it's going to end up is we're going to end up drawing something like this although I won't be putting in all the detail so we'll go back here and now I just need to rotate so that the floor the floor plan is rotated so that this one is facing the bottom so it's going to pan up a bit and now I just need to draw a line straight down You can see how I'm just creating these lines. I'm just going to zoom in a bit. And I can just copy this line over. I'll oh, get the door in there too. And there we go. But I don't want to draw this on the deck layer. I'm just going to put these on the zero layer for now. So it'll show up a little clearer for you. So now that I've got that drawn in, I just need to draw a line and I'm just going to make a line straight across here and that's going to be the top of my foundation. So I can trim everything off there. So now I need to figure, okay, how tall are the walls going to be? So I'm just going to make a 10 foot wall. So I just need to offset from the bottom of the foundation to the top and there's the top of my wall and I can offset seven feet and there's my door right there so I can already start trimming and making some things happen here and with my windows I want those at the same height as the top of the door and I'll just say that they're two feet down and I'm just going to draw a rectangle in here from point into there so now I can erase um, oops and you'll see that I uh, drew it on the wrong one which is something that's really easy to do if you're not paying attention when you're drawing your elevations so I'll get rid of this, this, and those. So now I got the window and doors done already. So now I'm going to do my roof, and I just need to offset this another five feet. And if you go through the tutorial, you'll see how I came to that distance. But pretty much, I'm just going to go up here and say okay here's my floor plan it's 24 feet across and if I have a 512 pitch that means for every 12 feet it's going to go up 5 feet and since that's my midpoint I'm going to be 5 feet right at the top conversely I'm going to have a 1 foot overhang and that's going to be 5 feet 
from where the top of this wall, this 10 foot offset wall I put here is going to go. So I'm just going to go back to my drawing now. So there's my 5 feet and offset 5 inches. And now I can start trimming up again. and trim that up too. So there you can see I've already got this and here's my deck. So I can just grab my grips and bring those down and this is actually at the back here. So now what I need to do is figure okay what am I going to do for my steps here. Generally a step is going to be about seven inches high. So I'm going to make one two, three, and there's the steps going up. Now next you'll see I've got a deck and it comes out and there's a brake line here indicating that it's going to go further and the original drawing said to refer to the site plan. So Let's just say I refer to the site plan and I want 10 feet from this wall to here. So I just need to offset 10 feet and there's my deck. And I want it obviously lined up with the rest of it. Now I can offset to get the top of my railing. bring this line up because that's my railing there and trim that trim that and there's my deck and now it's just a matter of just bringing in more offsets actually I'm just going to erase those and extend that over to there so I'm just going to offset that six inches and offset these posts four inches. So these are what the four by four inch post I've got on the wall here. And uh, I can stretch these ones up. And that's good to go. Draw a line there. A line there. Trim out this one in the middle here. And since we know that these posts are 36 inches high, I need to offset this one 36 inches. Oops. Offset 36. And there's my post. And I can just draw another one right there. And I will trim out these. So now you can see that that's pretty much how they're drawn. Now I can go in later, draw the chimney and everything, and I can offset my windows to make a window frame. And even my doors. And let me just close those up. And then I can use a hatch to add in different textures. So here's my hatch window. And I'm just going to go with, uh, let's see here. I'm going to go with a roof shake for my roof. Pick a point inside here. Hit preview. Yeah, that looks pretty close and press enter. So now I got my roof shakes going here too. And so it's just a matter of adding more detail. I can add all my balusters across here and just add brick or wood or siding or whatever I want for the rest of my details here. So now what I'm going to do is show you how to make the next elevation because usually you'll do more than one. So what I've done here is I've just copied it over, rotated it, and now what I want to do is just rotate it again 
and you normally just do this four times and so here's my next one so I'll just draw a line down from here here and I'll just copy some more over so there's more windows and as you're following this tutorial around you'll see that there's also a chance to start doing some design work as well and now what I need to do is take my foundation line and bring it across because I'm gonna hopefully build my cabin on a flat surface so I can trim all these lines off now. Here's the line for the top of the roof. Here it is for the bottom of the roof. And now remember I made the offset, so I need to offset my roof 12 inches. And now I can draw a line from my center point to there, and my center point to there. And now I can erase that line, that line, that line, and that line. Trim everything up. And once again, I want my windows to be right at the same height. So I'll bring these across. Draw my rectangle. For this window. I'm going to erase that line and these two. And then you'll see I got these two skinny windows. I'm going to make them a little longer. So I'm going to offset them, uh, oh, let's say, five feet and draw my new rectangles in here. And now I can once again erase, erase. Looks like I snapped to a center line instead. Yep, so I can erase. That and that. And now here's a rectangle. This is going to be for my door. and erase that line and these two this one and now you can see I've got the basic building blocks once again and I can do an offset start putting in my window frames my door frame you can see it overlaps there so I can just explode it and then erase that and trim that draw a line down in the middle and so you can see that there's just now it's just a matter of adding more detail everywhere and just building it out building it out building it out but I just wanted to show you in this video the basic concepts that are needed for building elevations in AutoCAD thanks for watching this has been mycadsite.com